Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you could fix the problem of unidentified network. So you might have discovered this problem in your laptop or in your phone. When you are trying to connect to your home Wi-Fi or your work Wi-Fi, you have unidentified network and no internet access. To fix that, you will need to go to your search tab, regardless of your operating system, if it's a Windows 10, Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you will type control panel. Once you have opened the control panel, if you don't have this similar view, you can always change view by from large icons and small icons to category so that you can follow and you will click on network and internet. Again, we will click on network and sharing center. And here I have the Wi-Fi to which I connected, but I have no internet access in it. And it says unidentified network to solve that. Just click on it and go to properties. And here we're going to do two things or try two to four solutions. So the first solution, you will click on Internet Protocol version four and we'll click on properties. And here, if you have any assigned IP address, you need to change it to obtain an IP address automatically and also obtain DNS server address automatically once these two options selected, click OK, click Close, and click Close again. Once done, you can log out and log in back to your Wi-Fi and this should solve the problem. If you're still not able to connect your internet, then just make sure, uh, or if it's still still showing you an identified network, no problem, just keep logged to the, to the Wi-Fi, click on it again from the control panel, Properties, and this time you will go to Internet Protocol version 4, click on Properties and select use the following IP address. What we are going to do, we are going to use a static IP address. This is your inter this is internal IP address, so you will use it only for internal usage and it will not be shared with public. So and it will not change your um, your external IP address or public IP address. So you will type 192 in the IP address, 1681. And if you have 10 computers which you want to connect or your computer is number 10, so you just type 10. In the second line, the subnet mask, make sure to put exactly 255.255.255.0 so that your internet works. And in default getaway, you will copy the first two set of digits from the IP address 192.168 and then the last two digits so make sure that you have exactly the same number but in the last set you will just put one you can get your IP address by just looking under your your um, router or your modem there you will find your IP address written as like 192.168.8 or 0.9 so make sure to copy the same number from your router so that you don't face issues and you will do the same with the default getaway. You will just change the last digit to number one. Next step, we're going to use uh, DNS server preferred address and alternate DNS server. So we're going just to tap eight. And again, the next set of digits, I will just put eight, eight, eight. And on the second line, the alternate DNS server will select again eight, eight, four and four. Make sure to select validate settings upon exit and click OK. Once done, you can close and it should solve the problem. If this Windows detecting tr or troubleshooting software start working, you can leave it until it finishes. And if it find any problem, it will show you solutions. If it doesn't find any problem, it will tell you that couldn't identify the problem and there should be no issues. You can again try, check if your internet is working. If not, keep logged in on your internet. Go back to the control panel and open the Wi-Fi settings. Click again on properties. And this time we're going to select IPv6. So I will just go and look for internet protocol version six. I have it here, but it's unticked. So I will just tick to select it. And I will click on properties. Here I have 
uh, obtain an IPv address automatically, obtain DNS server address automatically. If you have already some physical or some IPv address used, just select obtain an IPv6 automatically and DNS automatically and click OK. And then just close and close. And this should solve the problem. If you are still facing some issues, you can always leave us a comment with the error code or whatever problem you are facing and we'll do our best to help you. If you would like, you can always press like, share and do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.